And let's begin with the latest updates coming in from Sri Lanka. Amid massive protests and uproar, Gotpaya Rajapaksha finally resigned as the Lankan president. Rajapaksha sent his resignation after he found refuge in Singapore, not in Maldives, which was just a stopover. Pictures also emerged of Gotpaya Rajapaksha seen smiling and shopping at a duty-free shop at the Changi Airport in Singapore. This even as his homeland is left burning from the economic and political turmoil largely caused by him and his family. First images of Gotabaya Rajapaksa after fleeing Sri Lanka. The 73-year-old was spotted shopping with his wife at a duty-free shop in Singapore's Changi Airport. Gotabaya could reportedly fly to Saudi Arabia from Singapore. Singapore government has clarified that the Lankan leader has been allowed to enter the country on a private visit and he has not sought asylum. After safely making his way from Maldives to Singapore, Gotabaya sent his resignation letter through an email to Lankan parliament speaker on Thursday. The speaker is expected to call the parliament to meet in three days. The resignation of Gotabaya triggered celebrations in Sri Lanka. People were seen dancing at Colombo's Gaul Face Park. Having laid siege to the presidential palace, prime minister's office and the secretariat for over six days, protesters have agreed to hand them over to authorities. The political turmoil may get resolved soon. But the economic crisis continues to deepen. Cooking gas is something really very essential. But because of the supplies worst affected for next month, be it the petrol, be it the diesel or the cooking gas, every day these women are forced to queue in line facing the heat and the humidity. When supplies are affected, their kitchen affected, their families affected, and that has forced them to hit the street against the government. Tourism, the mainstay of Lankan economy, is badly hit. The economy on the whole has tanked. The supply of essential goods is disrupted. Gotabaya's successor will have many hurdles to negotiate. With Ashutosh Mishra and Pramod Madhav in Colombo, Bureau Report, India Today.